My name is Graham Dudgeon. I am an industry manager at MathWorks, serving the utilities and energy industry. Over the next couple of minutes, I'll provide an overview of some considerations when performing power system studies. The bottom line is that while simulation models are an essential part of power system studies, you need more computational capability to extract the most value from those studies and reduce the risk of the decisions that you make from the outcome of those studies. The simulation model can be built automatically using network data contained in spreadsheets or other power system data formats. Both balanced and unbalanced networks can be constructed. Field data is a powerful complement to the simulation environment. You can replay field data at any point of connection in your simulation in order to investigate operational responses which may be difficult to duplicate solely through simulated response. This provides you with valuable insight on the accuracy of your model and facilitates in-depth investigations of abnormal behaviour. If inaccuracies exist in your simulation model, you can apply parameter estimation to tune model parameters or apply system identification methods to capture the dynamics of equipment that is difficult to model using physical modelling techniques alone. Any model developed using system identification methods can be seamlessly integrated into the network model. Large quantities of data are generated in power system studies, especially if you are simulating thousands of operational scenarios through Monte Carlo simulation. You can automate data analysis and automate the generation of reports. This can save you considerable time in drawing your conclusions and sharing the outcome of your studies. If you want more information, then give us a call or send us an email. You may also want to view the extended webinar on performing power system studies, which steps through these considerations in more detail.